I feel like I'm missing something. I don't feel like I'm missing shit. I don't have what you all have, but you'll never in my life hear me tell you I'm missing something. Everybody is. They're missing this feeling. I found it a long time ago. I found it right there in that willpower thing. When you're nothing, nothing, and change yourself into something like me, you call it happiness, peace, whatever the fuck you want to call it, people are missing exactly what went on with David Goggins. Why don't you smile? I do. I do. But I figured something out. That's why I am never, you'll never hear me say I'm missing something. I found it years ago. You find it in the suck. You find it in the suck and you find it repeatedly in the suck to the point where you know exactly who you are. Most people are missing something because they don't know who they are. They never examine themselves. They, they've never done this experiment on themselves. The lab rat, we're all lab rats, but you're also the scientist. You create your own self. Most people are missing something because there's so much trapped in there. I don't even want to say potential. I think that's where you use out too much too. There's so much in you that God or wherever the hell you believe in, or if you're an atheist, in you, that you have not un unlocked. That you walk around with this gorgeous wife or, or great husband and all this money. You're like, God, I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, because it's about 75% of you is still fucking in there still chained up because you just didn't want to find your willpower didn't want to find your soul your will your heart your determination your guts your courage and what that looks like it looks scary like your little scary lab i went in scary to wake up every day and say i'm stupid but i want to figure out a way to be smarter versus saying man i just can't do that so you limit this box so your box becomes so small of things you can do my box wasn't even a box. It was a fucking little, like, little pinhole. And then, through examining myself, getting some willpower, some courage, it became bigger than this table. But that's what we all do. That's why I wanted to come here today and talk to you about real shit. Not no fucking, like, hacks. There's no hacks, bro. It's you against you. You against you. And if you misunderstand that, you have a real problem. Real problem. I can understand you misunderstand me running on the street, shirt off, fuck this, no, nah, yeah. I can, I can get it. I get it. If you misunderstand what I'm saying right now today, the problem is you. People love to show you the cars and the house and the vacations and shit. All that's good. All that's happy. I'm going to show you the side that I know most you're going through. And people hide very well. I don't want to hide anymore. I hid for 24 fucking years. So that's why now when I told you, we can talk about whatever you want. Because as human beings, the one we, the, the, the first thing we have to learn, I also stuttered real bad growing up. So if you hear me stutter every now and then, it's because that was part of my life also. So it's funny, human beings want to show you the best side and they want to hide the worst side. For me, I'm going to teach you how to be vulnerable. Cause that's the only way you fix yourself. You don't fix yourself by coming out here and me selling you some fucking books. That's why I don't have them. I forgot them. I'm glad people got something from the book. I want you to learn that the only way you grow is how to look at yourself and say, okay, like I did. Table longer than this. What the fuck I have to do to get somewhere? There was nothing good on there. Nothing. Yeah, I love playing basketball. I left that out. That's something I love to do. I don't care about that. That, that didn't make the fucking list. Because the list that I had to live by was, it, was the very list that was to get me at this table with you. To talk to you, to the normal human beings, which I once was, about how you can get somewhere and how it looks. It looks very ugly. There's no fucking passion no fucking motivation there's no oh my god man i fucking this is no it's every day of your life just doing no passion 
No discipline, no motivation. Yeah, all these words, I hate people. I hate that so many people fucking use these words now because it's, it's, it's watered. It's someone sitting in a room by themselves and they figure themselves out and say, God, this is going to fucking suck. Where's passion when you're 300 pounds? Where's the motivation when you can't read and write? Where is it? So how did this happen? I just fucking did. I just did. I said, maybe at the end of this journey, there'll be something there for me. If not, I can read. If not, I'm 185 fucking pounds. There was no, there was, there was, there was, there was no magic potion. There's no, oh, let me wake up and look at some shit. No, all those words are overused. They're bullshit. It's all bullshit. Just do. You're living. How do you want to live? How do you want to die? How do you want to fucking be remembered? That's, that's it. That's it. Period. I go to all these fucking conventions. Speak all the fucking time. I look in the fucking audience. And these people sign up, sign up, sign up fucking every year to go to a convention. Thinking they're going to learn something fucking different. No. You're lazy. You know exactly what to do. Exactly what to do. Because even me, in my state of, I can't read and write. I knew exactly what to do. It just sucks doing it. It sucks to do it. It sucks to wake up every morning of your life and say, God, man, I'm, I'm not smart. So guess what I gotta do? I gotta, I gotta study the same shit that I got one of the highest scores in the nation on and do it again, do it again, do it again. It's not just there. It's not just there permanently for me. So yeah, it's all stick. It's all stick. The only carrot you have is like, maybe, maybe. Because whenever I take these tests that are real hard, in the back of my brain, it's like, there's a good chance you're not going to make it, Goggins. This ain't you, bro. This ain't you. You weren't born like this. This ain't you. The real you, bro. Study all you want to, but the second that fucking computer comes on with 150 questions, this ain't you, man. And somehow, it comes back, I passed. I passed again, passed again. But that real me back here every fucking time is saying, that ain't you, bro. That ain't you. And I have to outwork that voice. When I'm taking that test and I get to a question, I don't fucking know the answer. I'm like, fuck, man. And then, say, I told you, man, that ain't you. You're 300 pounds, man. You sit at home, you figure out how to do your hair. That's what you do. How to come to school with the reverse baldness when you're 16. That's, what, that, that's, that's you. So there is no get out of jail free card. This is why I say stay hard. Because when you weren't given the gifts, the only thing you can do in life is stay hard. And I know people cannot stand me. They can't stand this talk. This is all you can do. There's no magic pill or a magic potion. All you can do is outwork the man that God created or woman in you. And what that looks like is unfun. That's why I said do not do a documentary on me. Because people will not see the truth. They will see what they want to see. I don't want to live like that. Good. Good. And you will live exactly the way you live now. Questioning who you are. Wondering what is possible. Wondering what you are capable of doing. That's how that looks.